When the woman saw her dog discover a small pink animal in the dirt, she was completely horrified by what the dog had found. This happened in Australia. A 40-minute drive from the center of Brisbane, Queensland lives a woman named Sarah. A self-published author who loves the outdoors and thus longs to live somewhere outside the city. She lived in a beautiful and simple house, all of which had only one story and thus had a clear view of the low bushes. She raises chickens and grows vegetables in her own vegetable garden. So she is self-sufficient in all food. Her best friend, Jack, is a border collie, and border collies are very active by nature, so Jack is always like an energetic rabbit, he likes to run around and is always very excited. But most of all, he really enjoys walking with Sarah every morning. Rain or Shine Sarah would wake up before dawn, make herself a cup of coffee, and start her day, sitting on her patio and waking up to enjoy the morning around her. When she had finished her coffee, it was time for a walk, which she and Jack would take for at least an hour in the bush, which helped them exercise and helped Sarah maintain her spirits and creativity. It was a special morning, and Sarah didn't know what was in store for her. As we all know, Australia is famous for its various dangerous animals, reptiles and insects. Australians themselves are very familiar with these threats, so Sarah was not unprepared when she went for a walk. She had learned in various ways about the solution to accidents during outdoor sports. However, once, she really encountered an accident. When Jack and Sarah left the house that day, as in any other summer, the sun had not yet crossed the horizon. But Sarah was already sweating, and she put on a hat, sunscreen, and plenty of water. You can feel the humidity in the air around you, it's very stuffy. They started walking the bush route as usual. This was to avoid the sun as much as possible, it was just that fate brought Sarah and Jack to that particular route. In a sense, this route is indeed a jungle route. Sarah needs to push through the Australian bushes in order to pass through the jungle smoothly. For Jack. The bushes were no problem at all, and he went through as quickly as if there were no bushes there at all. Only because of the leash, he had to be close to Sarah. Sarah was very familiar with animals, and they could attack Jack if he was left unattended. And even kangaroos could become very aggressive, so about a quarter of the time during the walk, Sarah became a little wary. As they were walking through the tree, Jack suddenly yanked Sarah to the bottom of the tree. His body language indicated that there was something wrong with the roots of the tree he had just passed. This made Sarah very nervous, and her worst fear was that an accident would happen to Jack. So she tugged instinctively at his collar, pulling him away from whatever it was. Fearing it was some kind of poisonous snake or spider. Jack tried his best to fight her, but finally gave in. They continued their walk, but Jack's body language still bothered Sarah. She wondered if she was being too harsh, and just pulled him away. She vowed to let him try his luck again on the way home, so long as she knew what they had passed on the way home, she wouldn't feel threatened. Sarah knew where they were, and watching Jack head straight for the same tree, thinking of her promise. She mustered up the courage to get closer to the base of the tree to see what it would be. Jack must have found something. She almost didn't see the tiny thing his nose touched. The only reason Sarah took another look was because the thing was pink. She pushed Jack aside and leaned over for a closer look. She was in the leaves and saw a small pink creature the size of her thumbnail moving around. She knew she had to slow down her hands and feet. She gently picked up the creature and placed it in the palm of her hand. She didn't know what it was, only that it was some type of baby that needed her help. It didn't take long for her to spot the second one and after making sure there was no third one, 
she stood up carefully, holding the little creature, and wanted to go home as soon as possible. Jack was so excited when he got home, Sarah put the two little ones in the matchbox and began to think about what to do. Because she didn't know what it was and couldn't provide what they needed, she decided to drive into town to the Australia Zoo Wildlife Hospital in Burwa, Queensland. The three critters lay safely in her lap, and Jack sat in the back seat. When they arrived at the hospital, the staff were so welcoming and intrigued by what Sarah had shown them, they couldn't believe their eyes, how on earth Sarah and her dog had found these things in the hospital. It didn't take long for the staff to figure out what these tiny pink creatures were, they were pygmy glider possums, the world's smallest marsupials, these marsupials weighed less than a gram but surprisingly, they were completely unharmed. They must have fallen out of their mother's pouch during the night, to the base of that tree, and Jack discovered that they were entirely guided by nature. The two siblings, named Betty and Boop, remain in hospital under the care of zoo nurses. Their purpose is to bring them back to health and keep them in shape so they can return to the wild. To live their lives, they are fed formula through tiny tubes so they get all the nutrients they need. Pygmy gliding possums are the cutest little marsupials, and at first glance. You might mistake them for voles, but on closer inspection you'll find something very interesting, and their extra skin allows them to air gliding from tree to tree, these critters only grow to a maximum of 3 inches 80 millimeters and weigh a maximum of half an ounce and 15 grams. Even the small size of these critters doesn't stop them from gliding across 82 feet 25 meters in a single jump, which means they can travel great distances in a very short amount of time. Also because of their small size, even if they found Betty and Boop under a tree, they had a hard time finding their mother nearby. Because a female pygmy glider possum can have four babies at once, she's likely to have her full attention on the other little ones. And they're nocturnal, which perfectly explains how they fell out of tree troughs before dawn. Which also explains how they stayed put when Sarah found them. Thankfully, she chose to stop and see what Jack found. Because it does show that even in a dangerous wilderness like the Australian bush, there are some critters who might need human help. Jack is funny. He draws Sarah's attention to her bravery and makes her confirm her discovery that there are indeed two babies who need her help. This incredible story teaches us to be aware of everything around us at all times, you never know when a small animal might need your help. If you like this story, Please don't hesitate to hit the like button, subscribe for more stories, leave us a comment below, and see you next time.